Uh, before uh, simulation, uh, the footing uh, and estimation the ultimate bearing capacity by numerical uh, analysis using the Plaxus uh, 3D. Uh, the ultimate bearing capacity of uh, this uh, footing dimension based on the suit properties has been calculated by uh, these famous bearing capacity equations which are uh, very well known for uh, average geotechnical engineers like Terzaki, Vizik, Meyerhoff and Hansen and the values are listed in here. Uh, first I click on the Plaxus uh, 3D and I open the software and I start a new project. So in here I can uh, write any title uh, for example uh, bearing capacity of square footing and in the model uh, we will use uh, these uh, units as a default and in the contour as I uh, said before, uh, we have these dimensions it is uh, 18 uh, meters by 18 so in the plexus in uh, x minimum I will use minus 9 and in x maximum uh, positive 9 also in y minimum minus 9 and in y maximum positive 9 so after that I click OK right now I uh, define the contours of the soil so after that I have to uh, define uh, the boreholes so I in here I uh, click create a borehole and I select anywhere in the model for example I uh, click here so I add one soil layer as uh, we mentioned in here uh, the soil layer is uh, 10 meters high so I can say that it uh, starts from uh, 0 and to minus 10 I can also uh, uh, make like that also from 10 to 0 so there's no uh, difference I uh, choose like that from 0 to minus 10 also in uh, this example we will not consider the water table so let water table uh, be located uh, at the bottom of the uh, borehole so I have to change the head to minus 10 so uh, the water table is deep now and will not be considered in the uh, example uh, also i have to uh, define a material for uh, this soil layer because right now there is no any material i click on the material tab uh, in uh, here in material set i click on the soil and interface and click new Okay, and right now just by uh, clicking in here and dropping in dropping on the borehole so right now I assigned the soil which I defined I assigned to the borehole right now we defined uh, the soil material and after that we have to uh, create uh, the footing so we will uh, proceed to structure so in here in this example uh, the footing is uh, located on uh, the top surface of the soil so in I click in here top of view and I choose the I select zero because our footing is located on top surface of the soil and in here I uh, click create surface uh, as we said uh, the dimension of uh, the footing is uh, one meter by one meter as I can see in here uh, the minimum uh, spacing is one meter so I can change uh, this uh, in here I go to uh, option and visualization setting and uh, I change the grade from uh, 1 to 0 0.5 so as I can see in here right now I can uh, the grid 
is uh, 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 for example I click in here in here so right now the footing is uh, 1 meter by 1 meter this point are just the coordinates and I click OK so right now we just uh, created a surface which is 1 meter by 1 meter and the center of the uh, surface located on the center of the soil model and after that I have to convert this surface into a plate uh, and it is very easy just right click on it and create a plate so after making the surface uh, to plate uh, right now I have to define a material for uh, the footing and again I uh, click on the show material uh, in this example we will uh, choose we will uh, define the uh, reinforced concrete footing by plate so I choose a plate in here and I click new so right now the material is assigned to the uh, <coughs> plate so uh, after we defined uh, the materials for the foundation right now I have to assign the loads so it is also very simple and I just click the foundation and right click we have create a surface load so in here as we said we will apply uh, 100 minus 100 minus uh, 1000 sorry minus 1000 kilonewton per square meter uh, the minus means the load will be downward so if uh, you should be very careful because if you uh, just write 1000 the load will be upward so we have to be very care careful in assigning the load to the foundation so after we uh, assigned uh, the load to the foundation uh, the <coughs> the problem is almost ready for meshing so we proceed to the mesh tab close this and we will go to uh, stage construction so in the stage construction uh, the initial phase are already defined and we will uh, also define uh, another two stages uh, for example in the first uh, stage we will just define a footing and uh, in this calculation uh, type we will choose uh, the plastic and uh, we also reset displacement to zero so after installation of the footing we will apply the loads in here we define another phase and we name it as a load or maybe loading we will also keep uh, the calculation type as a plastic and in here also we will reset the displacement uh, to zero and, and we want displacement become zero before applying the load so we will click ok so in the uh, in the initial phase uh, the plates and surface load and has to be deactivated in the footing we have to activate the plates so as we can see in here right now in a footing phase we activated the plate which is uh, a footing so in the third phase we also have to deactivate the plate and also the loading so right now the problem is uh, ready for calculation but before we start the calculation we have to choose a point on the uh, footing uh, for a uh, curve because after uh, calculation we can uh, draw a curve uh, between the settlement and the lots on the foundation uh, to define the curve we click in here select a point for curves and we can uh, search the point by the coordination as we know the our footing is located on the top of the uh, geometry and the x and y coordinates is zero and also z coordinate also zero because it is on the top of the geometry so we search the closest point we can see in here we have to choose a node 
and it should be plate not uh, other things like soil so in here we choose this node which is the center of the plate as we can see in here and we click update so now everything is uh, complete and our uh, problem is ready for calculation so we uh, start the calculation we start to calculate of course the calculation uh, take some time and it depends on the uh, mesh and complexity of the problem also it depends on the uh, specifications of the uh, computer you use for your simulation So uh, as we uh, saw uh, we can select it like that we uh, drew a line like that so from we can do like that as we can see in uh, some point in here the uh, load settlement curve the slope of the load settlement curve becomes almost uh, linear or uh, constant uh, so we can say that the ultimate bearing capacity of the footing is uh, about 800 or if we do uh, the other method like that it's still uh, the same so I already uh, compared the results of this uh, curve uh, with the uh, theoretical bearing capacity equations we can see that uh, the Terzaghi gives uh, the biggest ultimate bearing capacity among the other uh, bearing capacity equations. So we can see that uh, the results of a numerical analysis are uh, mostly uh, uh, close with the Terzaghi and physics bearing capacity equation but uh, do not forget this is just for uh, this example and maybe in uh, some other examples or some different uh, soil properties maybe the numerical uh, results will uh, get uh, in good agreement with the other uh, theoretical bearing capacity equations so this was for uh, this example so in the next example we will investigate more about the effect of mesh on the ultimate bearing capacity of the foundation thank you and see you in the next lesson